Augustine's conception of history makes God responsible for what goes on in the world. Thus, with an echo of the book of Job, Augustine spends many pages trying to reconcile the idea of God's justice with what he and his contemporaries have seen in the world. Since God is just and he uses history as a tool, Augustine needs to develop a theodicy to explain this justice to the detractors of Christianity. He thus finds many ways to argue for God's justice in the recent historical developments, despite all appearances to the contrary. Augustine's general philosophy of history sees God as playing an active role in history and using it as a tool. He claims, quote, God's providence constantly uses war to correct and chasten the corrupt morals of mankind, as it also uses such afflictions to train men in a righteous and laudable way of life, end quote. The sack of Rome is thus interpreted as God's chastisement for Rome's decadence and sinfulness. Rome has therefore brought the defeat upon itself. We've seen different conceptions of divine justice in many other texts that we've examined. Augustine's understanding seems in many ways to be a further extension of the concept of nemesis that we saw in Herodotus. Nemesis also used history as a tool. She intervened in historical events in order to reduce to the proper scale what had grown beyond its proper limits. But Augustine modifies this conception by focusing more on the concept of sin. While the victims of Nemesis are usually arrogant and proud, the main reason for the goddess's intervention is one of scale or quantum, something has grown too high. For Augustine, by contrast, sinfulness or moral shortcoming is what's key. The god of Christianity chastens the sinful even if they have not grown beyond their appointed limit. Sinfulness can take many forms. Indeed, as we've seen from our reading of the New Testament, it doesn't even have to be some external action in the world, but can be merely a thought. Thus, the Christian idea of sin takes on a huge significance, which had no precedent previously.